What's up you guys, it's Max here. Today I'm going to have a special guest with me, Austin from Xbox Live. Um, this isn't a double down review, this is going to be the Growler review and the VDV Buggy review, which uh, you can yeah. find on the US and the uh, RU deployments. They're basically what you do to go jihadding. Um, let's start off with the Growler. The Growler is US. Um, it was started being deployed in 2009 for the Marines. Uh, there are different models. One is for reconnaissance, the one that is uh, typically found in Battlefield 3. And there's actually one for towing mortars, so that's just a little background. Um, super light armor, and it's super fast. It's mainly going to be used for uh, flanking around light, uh, lightly covered posi positions, you know, like going to an MCOM that the enemy isn't really at or anything. Um, it's equipped with a 12.7 millimeter mounted machine gun. The uh, machine That's, gun. What? Go ahead. That thing is a pain when there's when you have any engineers around. I think it could be the biggest pain in the ass in the world. Yeah. When they just set it there and just spawn kill you like no other. Yeah, it's. I mean, it it's not. It doesn't have the highest stopping power. It's not like it's going to be an MT-40 on mounted, but it if you really need to use it, then you can use it. I like using it for shooting uh, helicopters just to get those few hit marks, probably yeah. disable it, I don't know. Um, uh, harass it pretty much. Yeah, pretty, pretty much piss the driver and the um, gunner off with the machine gun. Um, so that's about it for the Growler. It's... Uh, I don't know. The, there, there's not much to talk about these uh, these jeeps, simply because all you can really do is go jihadding. I mean, if your if your team is being spawn camped, then it's really good to get past uh, enemy lines when they're right at your spawn. Yeah. Uh, probably. Um, like on Karg Island, if you're being spawn camped, you can go up to the top left of the map where the mountains are and flank around and uh, probably get a couple buddies to spawn on you, and that way you can you know, to potentially turn the game around. Uh, mm -hmm. The VDV buggy also has a 12.7 millimeter machine gun. Uh, that's just for, um, you know, equal, I guess I could say, to make them uh, equal, because it's not yeah, like one's going to... Not gonna, one stronger than the other. Yeah, yeah. It's not like one's going to have a 50 cal and the other one's going to have a, you know, a fucking PKP on it, so... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, these buggies or these jeeps aren't not good in firefights. The whole crew is completely exposed. That means I can you can shoot the driver out really easy. Um, a sniper could easily pop pop off a couple shots off at the gunner if it's standing still. So basically, yeah. what I'm saying is drive fast and do not slow down. And Plus, you... I've noticed is that the buggy is a lot faster than the growler. That's just my opinion. Yeah, um, I'm not really sure about the speeds, but they they can both drive pretty fast if you really need to get away from a, an area really fast and be kind of discreet about it, then these uh, these jeeps are really useful for that. Plus, the only real use I've ever seen people really use for the buggy is just to do, go suicide jeep on it, put C4 all over it and drive it into a tank and blow it up. Exactly. It's kind of like a last resort kind of thing. Uh, people normally, I see a lot of people use the jeeps to get to certain areas on the map really quick in the beginning it. of a game. Yeah. Yeah. Just to get a, a jump start on them, and then you know just to go jihadding if if they feel like being dickheads. So. <laughs> Plus, I think you know the buggy's a lot more fun than the growler. The growler. Oh yeah. I I tend to spawn every game I join. I'm usually on the U.S. So I I don't really. Get any time to get in the buggy, and but they're they're pretty much the same thing. So don't worry if if one has you know a little bit better speed than the other because they're pretty much the same. Yeah, because one has better armor, one's faster. It's you know it balances out pretty well. Yeah, uh, the VDB VDV buggy is a little more discreet. It's kind of flat, and the Growler is kind of a bigger area to shoot at because it's, it's a big box. Yeah, it's basically a, a huge <laughs> box that's speeding towards tanks and shit. So better watch out for that. Yeah, it, it, it's not very good for the suicide jeep concept. Yeah. Um, another thing, 
you can't get notified if you're getting locked onto. So if you're in a tank or a or an LAV or an IFV, they always tell you when you're you know that beeping noise when you're getting locked onto yeah. by a javelin. And in the buggies, they don't do that. So it's better if you kind of stay out of firefights, kind of go around the entire map, and stay clear of any sort of infantry that might be near you. Yeah, and a quick tip, like, it may seem a good idea to load up a buggy or a growler full of people and drive it around, but when you get hit by that stray rocket and then get, like, five to three kills, it kind of hurts your team a little bit. Yeah, exactly. So... What he's basically saying is you should probably, in the beginning of the game, like I said, to get a jump start on the enemy team with the for the objectives in like a large large map of Conquest. And this especially goes for the new maps that are coming out for Armored Kill. You know, like um, Gandahar Desert or whatever it is. Gandahar fucking... Um, probably have the guys that want to get a jump start on the other enemy team not spawn yet. And probably have one guy drive to the objectives that you want, that are, you know, designated that you guys want to go to, and then have them spawn on you. So, uh, like Austin said, if a javelin, if the if the guy with the javelin does pop a shot off you, he won't get a triple or you know a double kill or whatever it is. So, it won't has have as much of as an effect as it would. Anything, uh, anything you want to add, Austin, before we end it? Not uh, really, no. I think we covered most of it. Yeah, I think so. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. We might do another dual com later. Uh, next up is going to be the M1, or what is it, M1114 Humvee, and the uh, Gaz 497, or whatever it is, Vodnik. So, uh, if you guys want to check out those reviews, then go ahead and click that subscribe button. So, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, happy killing.
one. 